Len again. I just thought I would do a little video for you on uh, panning. Okay, this is the super sluice, right? I'll just see if I can hold the. As you can see, nice deep riffles. See the black sand coming up already down there. You can see how how these riffles hold the hold the gravels really well. One thing with the super sluice, same as the boss hog, they don't have to be scared about losing your gold because these deep riffles will really help, um, keep your gold. Give it a shake. Get all that. Sometimes I do this too. This is a good way to get rid of your lights. You can just see how I get it off the back one, then get it down to the front one, nearly holding the pan straight up and down. Just give it a little shake. Or you could just do it the normal way of action. It's a good way to get the lights off. I saw Dakota Fred doing it like this. Of course, I, I can't do it with two hands, but you could speed pan with the super sluice like Wall and Liz do. It's like using a patea or the um, that other Australian pan, what's it called? Um, turbo pan. Keeping that water swirling around. It uh, stops um, any tension in the water and you can just... Anyway, you get the idea and then you can just do your backwash like this. Anyway, I won't go into that. You know how to wipe backwash. Alright, I'm going to get the mine lab now. I'll just get up my mine lab. Bit of gravel here. I've got in a bucket. Okay, this is the mine lab. See, I put that thing on here. Matt, good idea, because I nearly lost my pans in the Mary River one. So I just put one of those little clips, those carabiner clips, on there with some string maybe out to the bank. Put a rock on it, so if your pan does get caught by some water, it's not going to go away. Okay, this is the mine lab. Starting off with the, the big riffles. Good for getting the main stuff off. I'll just do this quickly. Now I'll bring this stuff around down to the smaller riffles. Just want to show you that. Smaller riffles are good. When I'm doing this, an old fella taught me try and not let the water go to the base of your pan, just keep it up here, the first couple of riffles, so you don't take any gold out. So you can see the smaller riffles are really handy for when you get right down to your small stuff. Your black sand, you can see black sand coming up now. So it's really good for fine tuning your, your um, washing. As you can see, I can get this lights off pretty good. Down to the black sand nearly. Bring it all down. Back down to the blondes little bit of stuff there and of course that'll do and then you can start doing your back washing anyway I hope that helps you a bit Matt a little bit on both pans it's hard to do this one handed as you know mate beautiful and sunny here in Queensland today 
So there you go, Matt. There's both the pans. That's the mine lab. Hope that helps a bit, mate, anyway. Uh, this is Len signing off. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye.